Good day, everyone. I'm meteorologist Adam Kolpak. We're going to be starting off cool once again overnight tonight into Tuesday morning. We're going to be warming up with high pressure building in. That means more heat for the seven day as the cooler weather in the trough moves off to the east. Our low temperatures will generally be in the 40s and 50s for the coast. We're going to have that wind out of the north, northwest 10 to 30 diminishing tonight. They'll kick back up again for tomorrow. More of an offshore flow, though, once again around Brookings and Harbor. I'm generally putting the highs in the 60s and 70s, but once again, because of the offshore flow around Brookings, it'll be a little bit warmer with that wind out of the north, northwest 10 to 30 miles per hour. Our temperatures will be in the 40s and 50s for the West Valleys overnight into Tuesday morning, mainly fair. We have more sunshine during the day on Tuesday. Some pretty warm to hot temperatures, 80s and 90s for highs, 92 for Medford, 94 Cave Junction, and 89 for Mount Shasta City. Now the cool start east of the Cascades, lows generally in the 30s and 40s, under mainly fair skies, 35 for Alturas. And as you could see, the highs on Tuesday, 70s and 80s, flirting with 90 down towards Alturas. Going for upper 60s for Crater Lake. If you're heading up there, uh, please grab the sunscreen. Stay hydrated. You're going to have plenty of sunshine. And there's plenty of sunshine in the seven-day forecast, as you can see on Friday. We're going for 100. The airport in Rogue Valley uh, in Medford, uh, 98 for Thursday. And lows generally in the 50s to around 60. The weekend, we're going to see mainly sunny skies right now. Clement Basin, you have highs in the 80s and 90s, lows generally 30s and 40s, warming a little bit towards the end of the work week, possibly to around 50 by Saturday morning. Northern California, Mount Shasta City, highs in the 80s and 90s, plenty of sunshine. We may see some clouds mixing in at times, lows generally in the 40s and 50s. And for the coast, highs will be in the 60s and 70s. But again, with that Chetco effect, Tuesday, Wednesday and Thursday, possibly even into Friday, there, we're probably going to get some warmer temperatures overall around Brookings and Harbor, and your lows will generally be in the 40s and 50s.